こんばんは。フォーレックス TV ニューヨークのレミです。2月26日火曜日の午後のカーサレポートをお伝えします。アメリカ株式相場は大幅促進しました。ダウ工業株30週平均は前日比114ドル70セント高の 12,684 ドル92セント。ナスダック総合株価数は 17.51 ポイント高の 2,344.99 で終えた。今朝に発表された2007年12月の S&P ケースシラー全米住宅価格指数が前年同月比で大幅に低下しましたまたコンフォランスボードが発表した2月のアメリカ消費者信頼関数は予想以上に前月から下落しましたニューヨーク外国為替市場で円相場は反発しましたアメリカ景気の不透明感が強まりドルは大幅に欧州通貨に対して反落しましたドル円は前日比80銭円高ドル安の107円20銭から30銭で取引を終えたユーロ円は前日比40銭円安ユーロ高の160円60銭から70銭で取引を終えたまたドル売りが優勢されユーロドルは 1.49 台後半に急進し市場最高値をつけましたそれではトムソンファイナンシャルのピーター・ボッドケンズさんとのインタビューをご覧ください Well, it's only Tuesday, but we have a lot going on today. So, first and foremost, I want to、uh, touch on the inflationary data we got from today and the pressures here we're seeing、um, in relation to the slowdown in growth. And as a result, you know, we're seeing、uh, the US dollar weaken against the major currencies. But where do you expect the Fed to go and where does the economy stand right now? Well,、um It's an interesting question.、Uh, there are a lot of、um, analysts who feel that we are in a recession,、uh, that there's no question about it, but there are still official forecasts which、uh, state that we are looking at、um, very、uh, low growth but not、uh, negative growth. And even if we do get negative growth, they think that we're going to get a positive second quarter, so technically it wouldn't be、um, a recession. However, obviously, there's the old、uh, expression, a growth recession, which is when you have inflation that eats up、uh, any of the economic output because of the fact that、uh, economic output is so slow and, and the、um, inflation rate is、uh, higher than that. And that then means that you do not get the job growth that you require to, keep things,、uh, to get things moving again. Well, now that we've、uh, highlighted some of the fundamentals here in the US, let's move on to price action for the major currency pairs, starting out with Euro dollar. In today's session, we saw the pair、um, hit a high of 1 and 49.23. So, if you could tell us what key levels、uh, you'll be watching for the pair. Well, the big、uh, level that everybody's looking at is 149.65 or 67. People round it down to 65 because That's what technicians tend to do, but the actual top was 149.67 last、uh, November. That is the key area that everybody's going to be、uh, looking at. If we break above that, then everybody will be looking for 150.、Uh, there are option barriers at 150 to figure, which are meant to be absolutely huge.、Uh, there will be strong、um, option defenses ahead of it. So, I wouldn't think it would go there easily, but if you do get that break of 149.75, the spec community are going to be、uh, chomping at the bit to make it happen. Well, let's move on to the UK currency, which has also seen strength against the US dollar as well as the euro in today's session. But、uh, going forward, are you bullish on the currency and what strategies、uh, do you suggest for the、uh, sterling? Still bearish, I'm afraid.、Um, it may sound unpatriotic being an Englishman, but.、Uh, It, it really overran its course when it went up to 210 last year.、Um, there's strong interest to sell ahead of 200.、Uh, a lot of the reason we're seeing it、uh, go through this afternoon, the market's extremely thin, and sterling in the New York market in, in the afternoons is very thin.、Uh, so you tend to see it,、uh, exacerbated price movement. We would suggest、uh, selling into a rally ahead of 200 and possibly layering into, layering into some option strategies that would cover a break above. 以上トムソンファイナンシャルのピーター・ウォッドキンズさんとのインタビューでしたフォーレックス TV ジャパンのレミがお伝えしました最新の為替情報についてはフォーレックス TV ジャパンをご覧ください